This new Apex Aim Trainer called Flow State is amazing. It's free. It's already helped me a lot. And if you watch this whole video, you'll have it up and running in no time. And I'll give you some tips and some extra files to get it running even better yeah. for training. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the new Apex Aim Trainer going. It's called Flow State. It's a mod of a hacked version of season three of Apex, so you don't have to pay for it. I'm gonna show you how to get it up and running, even if you have nothing installed yet. We're gonna go from zero to 100% installed, and I'll even give you some tips on how to use it and the ways to actually get the most out of it. Let's go. Very first thing you should do here is make a new folder. I just made mine on the desktop, but you can make it wherever you want. I'm gonna name this one Aim Trainer Apex because my main one is actually Apex Aim Trainer, but I'll put everything in here. This is exactly what you're going to do. Okay, we have the new file open. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is start putting all of our files in here that we're going to need. The first thing to download, because it's the biggest and it's probably going to take the longest, is the r5reloaded.rar. So in order to do that, we can go to the r5 Reloaded Discord. They're the group that made this hack of Apex Legends Season 3 in the first place. They have instructions on how to install their thing, which we need to install before we can install the actual Flow State Aim Trainer, which is a mod of this. I have a link to this Discord and direct links, everything you'll need in the description below the video so if you if you don't trust my links you can always come right here they go to the same place though first thing you'll do is download this continue to download don't mind my baby making noises Hi. so you download this go to your aim trainer folder and download r5 reloaded.rar this download took me like 20 minutes when i first did it right now it's showing that it's going to take uh a lot longer if i do show all you can see it's downloading pretty slowly. So another option for downloading it is right here and it's using a torrent to do it. So you can download it with the help of other people who are seeing it. If you've never used a torrent before, it's just peer to peer file sharing. In order to do that, we can just click this. If you have a torrent program already, great. You can just use that. I'll save that torrent file there. If not, you can download Qubit torrent which is in the description below. It's an open source BitTorrent client, so there's no ads or anything. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. All you do is download it, go to your torrent file, double click it, choose where you want to save the torrent, which I want to be in the Aim Trainer Apex folder. I'm gonna select the folder and then it's gonna download this and everything inside. Now it's downloading. I had already downloaded this and it took probably an hour or two, right now it says, six hours but it's it's finding people to download it from worth noting this failed for me while i was making this video so that's what my friends were describing i recommend if you can either do the torrent because it seems more reliable or if you have really good internet try them both and throw out whatever one you don't need now that we have this big file downloading it's probably best for us to get everything else into that folder so that when this is finished we can just copy some things over and get this thing running. If you're downloading the .rar and that's what you're gonna get, you're gonna need something like 7-zip or WinRAR to open and extract the files inside. I won't go in how to download that, but I will have a link in the description for where to download 7-zip. The next thing we want to download is actually the SDK. The SDK is just how the creators of this push out updates for it. And those are available on GitHub. So uh, once again, link in the description, but you're gonna download this. You wanna make sure to download the newest version. Ta-da, like they're, they're updating it constantly. You download the newest version, which will be depot.zip. We save it there. This one's only 450 megabytes, so not nearly as big as the other one. That's it for this SDK. I wanna make note here, you can see how often they're updating it three days, two days, 18 hours ago. They update this, at least lately, they've been updating it a lot. And the, the problem is that it can break some things if you don't have the newest candidate. So make sure you're always downloading the one that's at the top. In this case, it's 2.1.7. If you're watching this video later, it'll be a higher number than that. Everything will still work. It shouldn't change a thing. So the next thing we're going to do is download the actual bulk of the files for the aim trader mod for R5 Reloaded. We can find those here. The modern Colombian guy has his mods here. What you need to do is click code and download zip. It's r5 aim trainer dash r5 aim, aim trainer dot zip. You're going to put that into the same folder. Boom. Saved. Perfect. Next step, we want to download his releases. The initial release is right here. 
This one hasn't changed, but his code that you just saw has changed since the new SDKs have come out. So you'll just download the code from there. It'll always be the, the most up-to-date code. If these ever change in the future, they'll, the newer version will be at the top, but this is just a few things that are needed in addition to that code you just downloaded in the R5 aim trainer zip. You don't need anything else here, just the top one, aim trainer required files.zip. Download that, there you go. So that's actually everything you need to download to get it up and running. Great, we did that. Now we just gotta wait for this download dat to finish. It says it's four hours left now. How's the torrent doing? The torrent now says 11 minutes. So it's a good thing I did the torrent. The torrent's much better. Now that you have everything downloaded, it's time to make a new origin account because there's been some looming threats that this might be a bannable thing that you're doing. So you don't want it associated with your, your regular account where you regularly play Apex. All you do is create a new origin account. This is you created your original. Come into the actual origin program and you have to browse the games and click Apex Legends. This button won't say view in library, it'll say add to library. So you can add it to your library here, confirm it's there by going to your library, and you'll notice that I don't even have it downloaded. You don't need it downloaded on Origin. I have mine running through Steam, my regular Apex, so it's not gonna register as downloaded. The next thing you have to do is disable automatic game updates because you don't want it to download on its own or whatever. So we'll go into application settings and we'll scroll down to client update and you just toggle these. This, these two are on automatically. I just turned them off. Perfect. Now that's the only thing you need to do with origin. You can close it, minimize it, whatever you want to do. As long as it's open here, when you go to run the program, the program will open. Otherwise, the program will open origin and seem not to run, and then you have to open it again. From what I've read on the internet, nobody's been banned for using this, and nobody's, like, even Respawn has said it's okay, as long as it doesn't interfere with you actually playing Apex legitimately on Apex. So I'm not worried about it even a little bit, um, but still I'll use the other account just in case. Hopefully everything we've done so far, you've been able to follow. If not, leave a comment below and I'll help you through the steps. Um, but here we're gonna wait for this to finish downloading and then we're gonna pick up again and get this thing running in the next 10 minutes easy. Okay, we're back. As you can see, the torrent is finished. That's what 100% means. All of our files are in the right place. What it's doing now is it's just uploading for other people. It's actually been finished for a while. And now this is downloading faster again. So your results will vary. Uh, I like having them both going, but if you have really slow internet, it, probably the safer bet is the torrent because this will fail often if it slows down too much. Now we can move on to actually getting this thing to work. Best way to do it will be to open up all of these zip files in their own window. We've got the aim trainer required files. We have the depot.zip. And we have our 5 aim trainer, aim trainer .zip. You can find instructions on where to put these. I'll make sure they're in the, the description below. First thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this travesty of a file name. We've renamed it flow state. Now we're going to open up the base of this new R5 aim trainer named flow state. And the first thing we have to do, whether we're upgrading it or we're doing this for the first time, is take the SDK, the newest SDK that we downloaded. Control A to select it all. And then we can either drag it in or Control C, Control V to paste. This should be pretty quick. It's gonna ask you to overwrite things with the same name. For files, replace the files in the destination. And there you go. Next step, we wanna put in the R5 aim trainer, R5 aim trainer settings. We wanna take all of these, Control A, copy. And then we wanna to go to platform, scripts and paste them in here. Same deal as before, we have to overwrite the stuff in here. It's overwriting 957 files with the same name. We replace those. The reason we have to do it in that order is because first the depot puts new stuff in here and then the aim trainer puts new stuff in here and overwrites the newest SDK. So you always gotta go SDK, then aim trainer files. Next up, you go back to the flow state folder, the main folder of the R5, whatever you named it. And then you take the packs and platform, finally, and replace stuff in here. One more time, it's gonna replace something. Boom. 
Now, if you made a new origin account, it should just start. You're going to have to accept it because Windows doesn't know what it is. And allow access. And it's going to start windowed. All right, we got it running. Perfect. What we're going to do from here is actually not show you how to play it yet because there's a few more things. I want to get your settings in here. By default, it's just all the default settings. So if your key bindings are different, if your mouse sensitivity is different, it'll be it'll be wrong. Right now, mine are what I use because I've already changed it and it's not actually located in the folder you just created. So the first thing we'll do is close it. We're gonna get your regular Apex video settings and your regular Apex controls on there. And I'm gonna show you how to make it start in full screen so you don't have to keep changing it to full screen when you wanna use it. Close all of our zip files. We don't need those anymore. We can leave this base open. We want to go to the file Explo explorer and you want to go to your users folder. So you go users and your name here, whatever your username is, it won't probably Tama. And you want to go to saved games, respawn. And now you'll see you have two different apex folders here. This is your games apex settings. This is the new Apex that was just made, the, the modded season three version, the flow state aim trainer version. So we wanna go into Apex, local, and we wanna copy settings.config and videoconfig.txt. So I just copied them. And then you can go back to respawn, go to this new one, local, and paste them in here. Since I already did that, it doesn't matter. I'll do it again. It's the same thing. It's just going to take your files and, and move them over here. So now next time you open this, they'll be there. But before we open it again, we want to fix it so that it always opens in full screen. We can find the file that we need to edit by going to platform, config, and then we want to scroll down to startup default config. You might have to right click and then open with, and then I just use notepad because it's just text. So we get in here and you can see it's got some stuff here, no vid, blah, blah, blah. We want to change windowed to full screen and save it. You'll have to do that every time you update because this will all get overwritten again. You're ready to go. You have all your settings. You have it in full screen. Now we just double click to open it. Boom. We're in. It's full screen automatically. Click to get to the, to the lobby and you have it installed. So now that we're in here, I'll go over the actual aim trainer and how to use it. If you stick around, I'll show you the way I use it and provide some more files you can download and change so that you can use it in multiplayer with your friends a little more easily and get a little more out of it. But first, let's just see how to use the aim trainer. So we have to go up to create server and then you can do this if you want. It doesn't matter the server name and description. You can select the map. You can choose Kings Canyon season one, select the playlist. Flow state aim trainer, visibility. For now, we'll do offline. It's just a single player. You don't need to be online and you click start game. Now you're in the aim trainer menu and you have all these scenarios you can choose. Some of them are more useful than others, I think, for Apex specifically. Like, I really like just strafing because that's one you want to get good at. Running targets is good. Shooting from the lift is good. But any of them will help you train stuff in here. Another cool thing is if you come to settings, you can change your weapon and pick any weapon that is available right now in season 14. Because this is a season three hack, what happened is he made, the, the developer of this mod made the car by just making a gun and then editing stuff so that it works the same as a car. It doesn't look like the car, but the recoil is the same, the fire rate is the same, the damage is the same. So we can choose what we want. Let's choose the car and we'll do that one and the best there. Just load it up. So this is how we choose again. You can do this for any gun. And he's added other hit scan weapons, which if you wanted to get rid of recoil and just practice straight aim, you could. I think it's probably more useful to have the recoil because you're never going to be able to use these in the game. You can also change how strong of shields the dummies have. You can change their health. Strafing speed. Normal is just normal speed of an Apex character. How far away they spawn from you. If you want them to spawn a little closer, you can. Or a little further away, or a lot further away. If the targets are invincible, so say you just want to keep shooting and you don't want to wait for respawn. 
auto reload load on hit is every time you hit you you get all your bullets back i don't like that one so much auto reload on kill that's a little bit better i feel like because then at least you you're punished for not one clipping somebody this just makes your hud be all crazy colors and this changes the dummy's colors this is being updated a lot you couldn't even do the color thing when you first brought it out so let's try gray you can play as a gummy or you can do as a gummy as a dummy or do infinite training you can also choose how long you want to do your scenarios for and you can change who you want to be so let's get into it let's try strafing dummy so strafing dummy is a strafing dummy i made him spot a little closer to me but this is great for practicing oh as you can see exactly when you're doing a terrible job. We've got target switching. We've got floating target. Which is weird. But you know, you can keep it bouncing in the air. Maybe you could use a wingman on this. We have popcorn targets. So it looks like they're jumping on octane things. Pile frenzy. And it's just the targets from the firing range. This is probably one of the least useful scenarios here. Because we could be using dummies for this too. Close fast drapes. The dummy just kind of glides around. Another, another not liking scenario for me. We have smooth bot. He's invincible. We've got fast jump strafes. Hey, that doesn't look at all like Apex. He just jumps and he's instantly back down on the ground. So I don't know how useful it is, but you know, sometimes it's good to add variation. We have Arc Stars practice where only six count. We've got grenade practice. So you can't move. You just gotta try to. Throw your grenades up so they land and explode and hit the people. We've got shooting Valk's ultimate. So they're flying up and your goal is to figure out where you're shooting, where you have to lead to hit them. And I am awful at this. We've got shooting from a lift, like Horizon's lift. I actually played this several times and then went right into the game and was able to do way better than I've ever done before from it. We've got skydiving targets. They're coming in. Running targets. Good for making sure you're you have the perfect aim while someone's giving you an easy target by running in one direction. One of the things I wish was different with this, and one of the reasons I chose gray dummies originally, was because when you have a high contrast target like this yellow guy. Like you could, you, it's so easy for you to, to pick out where he is. Even the corner machine, boom, he's right there. If you have a different colored target, like Wraith, it's it, like a default skin. It's so much harder for your eyes to pick that person. That's going to be harder to aim at them. It's going to be harder because you can't see them to know where to aim as well. I wish you could also have just a different, like choose a regular Apex character to be here. Wraith, anybody, or ideally all of them so you could pick which one you want to use another thing is if you are allowed to move in this scenario practice moving when you're really playing you never fight someone who's strafing by standing still and shooting at them like this it's fine to practice standing still and see if you can really just get the aim down but you're going to need to be able to integrate your strafes and use them as well and, and train like you're actually going to play. You don't only get the aim trainer. You have all access to all weapons in multiplayer here and they all have recoil patterns. I checked, they're very close. I don't think they're perfect, but I think they're very close to actual season 14 of Apex. So you can go in and look at all these servers. There's more every day. So you can just come in and, and practice. Ooh. This person's just doing some short strafes with me. I am fighting back. The only problem I had with these uh, hosted servers is sometimes they're not they're not perfect. As in the hit registration seems off. See the right there. I was nowhere near this person's head. So these servers are kind of a wreck, and I don't really like using them at all. 
My actual favorite way to use this tool now is not the aim trainer itself, but creating a server that I can use with my friends and we can actually work on stuff and train. What I'll do now is I'll show you how to create a server here and get playing with your friends so you can actually work on stuff specifically. I'll also show you and provide you edited script files for the weapons that make all the weapons do one damage so that you can spend longer seeing how you're shooting and, and figuring out if you're, if you're doing as well as you could so you can work on specific things. So of course, it's not just as easy as going to create server and selecting visibility and doing hidden or public because that would be too easy. We need to forward some ports from our router in order to get this going. And the ports you need to forward are 37015 through 37020. If you're unfamiliar with how to forward ports, uh, you'll have to figure out for your router what you're doing. On my router, I have a TP-Link router. I just went to advanced and looked for anything that I could remember about port forwarding. And I remembered NAT forwarding. See, it's got forwarding right in the name, port forwarding, boom. And then I just added these. Uh, so UDP is what you need to add. If you don't believe me or you wanna go check any of this stuff, you can go to the R5 Discord and look around. But I just did this and it worked. I was able to go into the game, create a server, hidden, there's another step you need to take and it's not super obvious what you're doing. So I, I do have a hidden server, but I have no way to bring people here. So what I can do is press F10 and go to hosting. Now I'm broadcasting this, this token right here and you can copy and paste this to your friends. They'll go to browsing private servers and enter it and click connect. You can either do it creating the server through the, the menus like I just did, or you can go up here and do custom team deathmatch. Choose the, the name of the map. It's different than before. You can choose a night map. Hidden. And then start server. If you're already into the game, even the lobby, it'll, instead it'll say change level. Once it boots up, you'll have the thing and you can share it. All they have to do is put it in and they'll join you and you're good to go as long as you forwarded the ports. If you didn't forward the ports, this will be read and tell you you didn't forward the ports. That's how you do it. So he has F10 to close this. And now you're still not ready to go. Guess what? You're still not ready to go because if you look at, you can press escape and go to dev menu, survival weapons, and choose any weapon here to spawn on the ground underneath you, except it doesn't work because you need to know the code. You need to know how to turn on cheats to use the dev menu. All you have to do that to do that is press the tilde key sv underscore cheats one once you've done that you can press tilde again you can access the menu from the inventory as well go to survival weapons and when you spawn it it will spawn directly underneath you and now you have whatever you need you can use this dev menu to spawn Pretty much everything, you can get different armor. Red didn't exist, so it's not in the dev menu. But you can choose attachments too. You can't spawn all optics, but you can say, okay, I want the, you know, the one, two. And oh, it's gonna spawn underneath you. It always spawns under the host if you have your friends in. If you turn on cheats, your friends can use it too. And now you're ready to train with your friends using whatever guns you want, you can switch it up. Uh, I've been playing with one of my friends a few times and it, it's really helped both of us do a lot better in game already. Another thing to note here is when you're playing with your friends, your shields and health regenerate automatically after a little time goes by. So if, if you die, often you'll spawn really far away and you'll have to run all the way back. That's annoying. You don't want to do that. So you can let the health respawn. That brings me to the other edit I did to the script files, the weapon script, to make the weapons do one damage. That way you can actually shoot people with more than, you know, 10 bullets and try to get a really good streak of tracking going. So let's talk about how to install that. I went through the scripts here under Flow State Platform Scripts went through the weapons and went through every weapon you could use and changed the damage to one. In order for this to work, you to play multiplayer with your friends with, you're both gonna need the same scripts. Otherwise the game just might not let your friend play with you. I'll provide this 
my scripts folder as a zip folder for weapons.zip and I'll rename it weapons one damage. And all you have to do is take this zip folder once you've downloaded it, it's in the description below, open it up in a new window, go into flow state, platform, scripts. Rename your weapons thing in case you want to do with normal damage. Rename it to weapons normal and then drag and drop or copy and paste my one damage weapon scripts in there. And now when you open flow state back up, now that you have it, you can create a server and you can see that if you select flow state aim trainer and choose your scenario. Now, every time I hit him, of course, I'm going to miss him a whole bunch. It does one damage. So this goes for all weapons. Doesn't matter what weapon you're using. Every time you shoot somebody, you'll do just one damage. So really you're getting the number of shots that you hit. The real utility of this isn't the aim trainer. It's in the multiplayer with your friends. So some of the things you can do is just try to break the skills down or you can just fight with your friends and figure out exactly exactly what you want to use you can go in and take your r99 and just work it work it work it until you've got the recoil pattern down you've got what you're doing doing strafes you can even practice switching to a different gun and continuing you've, you've got a lot of options if you're playing with your friend and you're only doing one damage you can really try stuff out if you don't have any friends to play with you can always come to the lighthawk discord because i am going to add right here in the voice and games flow state apex training group you're more than welcome to come and join and hang out in here you could also message main or apex channels and get someone who goes i might jump in with you if i'm around if you had any troubles anywhere along the way with any of this stuff if you can't get anything working please comment below or come by the discord or both and i'll help you out we can get it running it's kind of tricky because you got to copy things in the direct order and you got to overwrite everything in the right order and if they do updates just remember you have to do the sdk first and then everything else after it but that's it that's everything if this video was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe leave a comment anything that you want to know about aiming we we have over at Lighthawk FPS Discord. You can find that in the description below the video, like everything else that I've ever said is in the description below the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Many games start as quick to a deceleration. Good response here. Isn't going to be exactly